people, Sniper Girl here. So I'm trying something new, aka commentary, and I just wanted to show my latest dirty bomb inventory and introduce myself because the last video I made of my inventory was from December 2015. So about myself, I started playing first person shooters since I was 13. And my first ever one was one called Soldier Front, and it's called Special Force in Asia. And I played that for eight years, literally up until I found Dirty Bomb, where I instantly fell in love and I literally quit Soldier Front. There were other factors that contributed to that, but finding Dirty Bomb just made the decision easier as my replacement for Special Shooter game. So how I found Dirty Bomb was from my old clanmates from when I was 13. Fun fact, I still keep in contact with them AKA I still have them as friends on Steam and Facebook. So they told me to check out the game because that was the next game they were going to be playing as a group. So they wanted me to join them. So when I started playing Dirty Bomb, Phantom was the newest perk. And within a week, Red Eye was released. Also, during the weekend, that was the first time they had the uh, free merc rotation for every merc in that weekend so I got lucky and I got to try every merc out before I actually bought them. So it's time for the good stuff. So my inventory and my stats. First my stats. So in mid March 2016 I actually started keeping track of how fast I leveled up. I also have some screenshots of when I hit 500, 600, 700 and 800 hours and I'll put the link down in the description below of my levels how fast I leveled and my hours so um, for now I'm just gonna continue and show my loadout cards and I have a whole bunch see and um first my special editions Proxies obviously came from the Rogon Vogue event. I still wish Stoker won just for him to have an obsidian. And the Phoenix from the Continuant War giveaway event, I told my friend just to buy him to get the obsidian. So she bought him and then because at the time we were new to the game, so we were just at the stage of just trying to own all the mercs. And then the rev cards, I I spent 400k credits. And I also spent like a hundred bucks or something so I so salty over getting three phantom cards well two of them from knife but like the free one I got from playing I got the katana phantom so that one just kind of made up for it at the time but I still don't like my knife phantoms and then and because humble bundle you see I got the phantom so I'm just like, I was just like, no, I can't do this. So, um, here's my EL32 Fletcher. I got really lucky because, um, I bought the guaranteed cases, the 10 elite cases at the time, and I got this for my one guaranteed case. But I also got my favorite Sawbones card, the SM72. My first ever cobalt from a case, elite case that I bought actually. So, and then um, my containment war obviously, I bought them all. I never played, so I literally just never got them from the drops. And because also they were only activated for like the weekend or whatever, so it wasn't activated the whole event. And then my cobalts. The, my latest one, this aura. I was using the bronze version, and again, I got, RNG was in my favor. <laughs> I got it in cobalt. No excuses there. And then I crafted um this sky hammer, this phoenix, and then this nader I got from a random equipment case. <laughs> I was just opening it from the lobby. I was like, okay. These three, the Sparks 383, H23 Proxy, and T91 Generation 2 Stoker, I got lucky and I got those from Case of Day May. Man, I wish there were more events like that. Um, I actually have the recordings of when I opened the cases and I'll put 
all those also in the description below. And then I crafted like most of these, literally. Like I said, I got SM72 from the Elite Case. And then my first ever um, crafted Cobalt was this Ragger. And I got that like when I was like 15, 16 ish. And then I only have like one gold card, and this is the Nader. Because sometimes there are those times, because sometimes you just want to play with the gun. But I want to use this Merc. So I kind of have to like get cards from everything. And here are my silvers and my bronzes. Like I said, I have a whole bunch of variation in case I feel like playing this gun with these perks. And I actually choose the augments based on free rotation, three week rotation. Since proxy is free this week, I try to make sure I have bomb squad. I have some of the cards with pineapple juggler and I try to use them when Nader was free, but um, last time Nader was free, I went on vacation, so I couldn't even play, and I've just been trying to use Pineapple Juggler successfully when Nader's on pre-week rotation. It doesn't work out, but at least I tried trying to learn new things about the game. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you are not. Until next time.